how you been enjoying the music game, the music business? Enjoying. Yeah. I can't even lie and say I'm really just enjoy, enjoying the music business. I say I'm enjoying being an artist. What about the E40 situation? I ain't never, I don't think I ever rolled before the wrong. I wasn't, I wasn't raised in, the, in the, I wasn't raised in like a business house. I'm like, him. All I was like real new to a nigga, like, him. So it's like, that shit take the fun out of the economy. You feel me? You like, man, I gotta watch my money, nigga. If I really know me and my mama and I had to have a conversation about me signing to some nigga for 20 dollars and them folk thought when I got a record deal, I was coming through the, the brain, the houses man. and cars. And them folks thought when they saw me next to such and such. You know how they feel? That shit don't feel good. <laughs> that shit don't feel good at all. The truth is still the truth. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So it's like, I think it could be took away when you say I signed for twenty thousand dollars. Now, that ain't no disrespect, cause that's yeah, the they truth. Probably, yeah, people, people probably just oh, and then how people they don't want nobody to know that the label. Please don't tell them we ain't give you nothing. Don't tell them nigga we ain't give you nothing, man. Don't <laughs> tell them we don't like that, man, nigga. We bad. <laughs> that shit kind of. But like, it, it's the truth. Yeah. I just leaving nothing, cause it's really embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Be embarrassing to come out and say, man, I signed a deal. Them folks gave me this. I was broke in 10 days. And I was still running with X, Y, and Z, making it look a certain way. You know, it be rough, but it's the truth. And that little nigga that's in that same room with one of them so-called big homies, he need to know that I love and respect you, but we got to look at the business. Yeah. What happened with you and Cap? Y'all straight now? What? Yeah, what? that shit cool. That was yeah. Like I said, I moved to California, but me, I got a, I got a big ass heart, man. I got a big ass heart. There was a lot of shit going on. I feel like, I feel like, right, right by now, I feel like the high ups or people who I need to be around in the industry look at me like I'm a troublemaker. You feel me? Like I'm like I just be on some bullshit. Cause anytime I'm in the media, it's like some negative shit. Talking about the bitch, uh, Christian, or goddamn you know saying fuck no cap, or the, uh, when I got in trouble. You know what I'm saying? It's always like some negative shit. You feel me? Do you think Alabama love you? Do you think the streets out there got love for you or hate for you? And as eventful as the stream is, with a hundred thousand people watching it, I don't see it move the numbers for the rappers. Right now, if I had 100,000 of my people, nigga, if I get 30,000 of my people in mm -hmm. here watching and I say, go listen to this right now on the live stream, that shit gonna climb the charts yeah. in real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a, a, a PSA to stream. How is they telling me there's 100,000 people looking at this? There's an artist sitting right there mm -hmm. that's promoting something and he still don't sell for 30K. Mm -hmm. He would have sold 30K had he not stepped a foot over there. Come now, where too like oh, I, right. I feel like some people been doing that like oh Offset. I feel like he did it with Kai. No, you don't feel like it worked. It worked, but it Offset went to his world, he, I, right? And so these what are the. <laughs> you told that nigga that kid. We told that nigga that that nigga just hit the, everything on the head, bro. Nah, we ain't talked about nothing. That's crazy, boy. You know something. Welcome to It's Up There Podcast. I am your active and attractive host, Big Loan, for another episode of the fastest growing podcast in the world. You know the vibes is high. If you are somebody that's here right now, I suggest you head to patreon.com. It's up there podcast. We got a lot more there. If you just need a, a, a more of this game, man, it's high level shit. So we appreciate everybody, man. You know, in this game, I don't really talk to everybody. I like to push up on the youngsters sometime and get, get some game from them and get them some game. Um, some, so today we got somebody that I was looking forward to speak to. We got my homie Pizza. what's going on bro? <laughs> what's up man, bro? I'm feeling good, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I be, I be fucking with your shit, I ain't gonna lie. I appreciate that bro. Late night, yeah. four in the morning, yeah. being a little freak. Yeah. yeah, with that shit going, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some of that real shit, I appreciate that. We were just talking about streaming, you done stopped streaming or what? No, I, I took a break, I ain't gonna lie, cause 
it ain't as fruitful as I thought it would be in the beginning, but you know, you gotta keep working and shit like. So what the, what kind of money being made on that shit? I ain't never done it. Shit, I ain't, uh, I ain't really made nothing but like a couple of thousand for real in all time stream. First, I started with the game and shit. First I started playing GTA and shit. Right. Boom. Then uh, I had stopped and shit. Cause I had thought I was gonna, I had thought I was gonna be like in the house for a long time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but I had stopped when I had started traveling. Then I got back on it with just some drinking with hoes and shit, streaming and shit on YouTube. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It was like either YouTube or um or Twitch. I think Twitch. Uh, cor correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think I think YouTube make more than Twitch. I think YouTube streaming make more than Twitch, or you get a bigger like percentage out of the deal type shit. Right. Yeah. So so. Like it wasn't making ten thousand a month or no yeah, shit not like here, that. Not here, not here. Was it on donations or what was it? It's on uh yeah, it's on donations type shit. Yeah. Like people gotta come in there and drop, you know what I'm saying? Uh the gifts and shit. Right. Mm -hmm. So nothing for views. No. Not, I think I think YouTube work for views if I if I ain't mistaken. Yeah, cause that they yeah. already got the view system. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Yeah. Damn, cause I be seeing niggas do that shit. You make you a lot of money. Like it's it well, I'm finna get on that shit. I'm finna get on all that shit. I'm finna do that our real streaming shit. I'm finna bring yeah, that to our coach. Yeah. Like when you go on tour, call me. We on t we we streaming. Like, real life, yeah. I huh? should have did it with baby. Then when they went, like I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna start because I gotta bridge that. We gotta quit letting folks run off with that, and then the rap niggas go into that world. Yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. that world to us. We is at least that. turn the niggas around you up, man. Yeah. Make them streaming niggas. I'm going on your stream, but. You got my boy for 30 days straight, don't it? Mm -hmm. He get the he parlaying with you. Whatever y'all doing for 30 days yeah. straight, my little streaming buddy. This part of my shit from yeah. my neighborhood or my background or my crew. I think we gotta integrate that shit because I salute Aiden Ross, Kai. I fuck with all that. I'm just saying there's a way for that relationship to be beneficial yeah. for both sides. You can bridge it for real instead yeah. of just jumping over the wall yeah. there and that. Yeah, because I say like, for me, when I look at it, I always say, and we gonna hear that in the background, just if you hear something, that's just that, so that don't mean nothing. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I look at it and I say, as fruitful as streaming is, right? And mm -hmm. as eventful as a stream is, with 100,000 people watching it, I don't see it move the numbers for the rappers. Nope, 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 nope. Like, I'm nope. saying right now, if I had 100,000 of my people, nigga, if I get 30,000 of my people in mm -hmm. here watching and I say, go listen to this right now on the live stream, that shit gonna climb the charts yeah. in real time. Yeah, 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 we yeah. dealing with algorithms, dog. We don't got to wait. What is, so how y'all telling me, and this is a, a, a PSA to stream, how is they telling me there's 100,000 people looking at this, there's an artist sitting right there mm -hmm. that's promoting something, and he still don't sell but 30K. Mm. He would have sold 30K had he not stepped a foot over there. So where is that true value? That's just helping solidify the streaming world. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so I'm saying one hand wash the other, both wash the face. I ain't, you know, hopefully they take that from what I giving them as game. You know he what I'm saying? He ain't saying, yeah, nigga fucking us over. It's just, I get exactly what you're saying. It's like, okay, instead of going into their world the whole time, shit, they can jump into our world. Well, we can make them come to our world too. Like, oh, all right. I feel like some people been doing that, like, oh, I'll sit. I feel like he did it with Kai. No. You don't feel like it worked? It worked, but it offset went to his world. He did. Work. So now when they relationship ha has fractured, right? Because Kai said, I guess that he made a statement about the album that wasn't favorable. So offset oh, was like, shit. damn, I just was with you. I spent a day at your house. That yeah. shit went everywhere. And after Casanet needs to understand this too, after offset did that, it did make people start coming out and say, Yo, that's the 106 in Park. Like, that's the, mm -hmm. they wasn't saying that before. They, they made a thought it, but it started to actually be a thing after that offset episode. Yeah, real talk, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he stayed the entire day. Like he did, baby. Yeah, so, yeah, he did a lot of people. So I think offset went into his world. Mm -hmm. I think, I think he, I think that if offset would have told Kai, let's do a stream together, right? My streaming server oh, and yeah, yours. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's real, you see what I'm saying? That's real, like real, even real. though it's at your house, I, I need some kind of it. access to this audience that you saying it's a hundred thousand people sitting here. You know I mean, what I'm saying? I, need to get some data I got something for sale. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You just holding these people here. 
And that's why the labels find interest in Casanet is because it's like a it's like having a hundred thousand people in a room. Mm, mm-hmm. But I'm saying we got to figure out how to make those people move for the record sales mm-hmm. because how YouTube works, if thirty thousand people click on something, that algorithm is snatching that and yeah. saying, "Hey, this, this is this is what's going on." Huh? You see what I'm saying? We people. don't see that with the yeah. streaming and the yeah, and the real. rappers. Damn, that's real. I ain't never think about it like this. I don't know, like, I think it looked it good, like. It, it looked good It made sure. sense. And there'd be a lot of kids on there too, like, yeah, little kids sneaking and getting on the computer and shit, right. watching the screen and shit. And so maybe the value isn't in record sales for it. Maybe it's in just brand awareness. I think it's brand awareness. Yeah, um, for kids and things mm-hmm. like that. Maybe we're not looking to sell records off being on this stream. We just, yo, the kids now know who Offset is because he was next to Kai for 24 hours. I can see value in it like that. I I, I, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Cause depending on, depending on what a nigga present. But I feel you though, like, it don't don't matter how many followers you got, it don't matter how many views you getting, like, it matter how many link clicks you getting, you feel me? So it's like, if they ain't clicking a link, then it really ain't. It ain't making no cheese, but if you getting notoriety and like brand awareness, like you said, out of it's like, okay, so them shows and shit, them all age shows, them venue shows instead of clubs where everybody twenty one and up niggas going to the club anyway. Right. But you getting hard ticket sales with little kids coming to buy tickets That's to dope. see you type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like and that I wonder shit is that crazy. is that what it's doing? It might be. That, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It that makes be. sense though. Cause like how you put how, how offset. I don't want to keep talking about offset, but right. How Offset got, this is a good uh, example. But this game though, this ain't no, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 I ain't want like, you know how they be, they be tripping. But boom, uh, 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 how he put Kai Sinan in his video, it made hella kids go watch the video type right. shit, you feel me? Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And then I'm saying, but what real value is that? And, and I'm saying it's not. You hoping somebody like the song and be like, oh, I'm a fan now. I think the, the the conversion of of a viewer to a fan takes more than that, though. I ain't gonna lie, that was some deep ass shit you just said. <laughs> <laughs> the conversion of turning a viewer to a fan. Oh my mom. Yeah. Mom. That's because it's like mm-hmm. I don't. I'm saying we looking for customers out here, bro. That be my whole fight, like when I fight with the industry, cause I, everything I do run alongside the industry. And it's like, they want me to play their view game that they playing when I know they spending a lot of promo money. Mm-hmm. I'm playing the consumption game. I'm playing, I'm playing the, yo, if I can get 4,000 people on Patreon, they give me 40,000 a month baseline. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And 4,000 people ain't that many people in the grand scheme of things. Mm-hmm. Especially when I got some machine beside me with interest on blowing me, putting me here, that's giving me certain splashes. Mm-hmm. It's my job to take that splash and bring 25 more people behind this paywall, 50 more people behind this paywall. That's why we got to change our hustle. When you say bro. paywall, what you mean? Like those sites to make people pay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a Patreon. Yeah, you pay to or, get behind the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. where well, you get to see me, but you gotta pay to see me. Like the people get to talk to me when I go live. I'm starting to like, like I told you, I'ma start to go streaming live on Kick, Rumble, all that, but you can't get in here in, in this little group chat thing unless you part of the Patreon. Mm-hmm. So you got to pay to be, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like you can view, you can, you can even it. join the chat, but, but you like can't conver- talk. Yeah, to conversate and ask questions and That's, shit. Yeah. And this is a funnel. This is what I'm learning from running alongside these financial niggas, is that you build a sales funnel. And this ain't a sales funnel, it's a brand funnel. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? So I, I get you my brand at the highest level, next thing you know I got you over here in this streaming area, and then you wanna talk to me, I'm here. You see what I'm saying? I'm watching, but he keep talking a little Susie yeah. and shit. She, how yeah. she do and that? And he talking shit. I disagree my, with him. Oh God, ooh, on my mom already. I don't believe that. Nigga, he, nigga, pay to disagree yeah, with you. Yeah, nigga, pay to disagree <laughs> with you, bro. <laughs> nigga, pay to disagree that's with dope, you. That's dope, though. I ain't gonna lie. But that's, that's the hustle. How many view, people did you used to have in your stream? Oh, uh, shit. I think the highest I had in my stream, because I was just starting, was probably like 500 people. But I ain't gonna lie, though. I was getting like, 
I was getting like a lot of love on that from people who like the T Grizzlies, the right. uh, Anthony Davises and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I seen I seen a whole lot of potential in that shit. I just started moving around too much and shit and nigga had too much going That's on. That's what it is. The lot of niggas on that shit chilling a lot. Yeah, niggas just in the house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what they done already done they runs. Like Grizzly done been on tour for a long time. Yeah. It's time now I can kick back and take spot on. dates and shit. Uh -huh. You in the prime time in your hustle. It's like I can't get them. I can't stop for real, for real. Yeah, I, can't, yeah. I can't just sit in the house if I wanted to, you feel me? What kind of, did you buy a computer and shit? Oh, yeah, how got, you, yeah, how you get on all that? All right, so it's a, uh, my white boy partner, man, Ryan, at the label, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I had got in trouble, so I had got on ankle monitor. He was like, shit, you finna be in the house, nigga. He like, you finna be in the house? We finna get a PC, goddamn. You finna get on this game and shit. I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But as soon as goddamn, they said I can do shows and shit and I can move around, I said, fuck that PC. <laughs> <laughs> how much was it? How much? You don't even know how much it was. Like, it was like, tw it was like 12,000, I wanna say. Like, probably like 12,000. The PC with 12,000? Yeah, yeah, the PC. Then I had to the call the PC. The PC like that. Hell yeah. But you can get some, you can get one for like, see, my shit got all type of lights and shit. My shit got my name on it and yeah. shit like that. So it's, but I'm saying, I ain't like even thinking, I'm thinking them shit's two, three thousand. Mm -hmm. That nigga said twelve thousand for that month. I think my, I think Ibert, what Ibert paid for this shit, like forty five hundred? Yeah, my brother paid like forty five hundred. For the PC? Yeah. Cause he really be gaming and shit. I'm like, hey, I'm forgetting. I'm saying, what is that doing though? It's something I ain't understanding. Like, what, what make it different than that joint that costs five hundred? Uh, I think, the, I think the speed. The speed, speed of the what? The speed, like, all right, Alien well. It's like the best, it's like the best uh brand when it comes to like streaming and shit. Like speed, all right. If you playing Call of Duty and a nigga come around this corner and you come around this corner, but his computer faster than yours, but y'all came around this motherfucker at the same time. He yeah. gonna see you first. <laughs> so you talking about playing the actual game on yeah, the computer actually, yeah, versus yeah. cause okay, but I be seeing oh, Aiden Ross like, and them playing PS5 on the computer. Nah, they got the PS5 controller hooked up to the computer. So they ain't playing the nah, PS5. That nah, that's the PC. <laughs> Even though it looked like the PS5. No, you seen the game console? Nah, when they go on the home screen and shit, moving it around. You know how on Xbox you can tell it's the Xbox. Oh, you can tell, yeah, you can tell it's the. Yeah, you know, know the them interface. Probably, them nigga probably know them shit. I don't so know. So what I'm saying is, okay, so they, I think a lot of times, cause that's, as I'm looking, cause this is, this was crazy. Mm -hmm. We in November, my kids said, dad, we both want, Oh shit. PCs for Christmas. <laughs> Separate PCs? Yeah. So oh, he's stressed, he stressed that I said so that 12,000. I'm 000. trying to figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like, damn, okay, so how do you how do you figure this out? Because um, what I'm thinking is, I'm asking my kids, this is why I'm talking to you about it, because yeah, you yeah, got yeah, one. Yeah. I'm asking them little niggas, yo, is you telling me you want to play PS5? on the computer and stream with the, like Casanet and them. Mm -hmm. And they saying, yeah, but I also want to play such and such. It's some little game everybody playing. GTA? On, nah, it's a shooting game that's on loan computer. Uh, they, they in the comments right now saying that Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they in the comments right now saying that motherfucker. I don't know the name of it, but it's <laughs> like, it's a computer game, but Damn, twelve thousand. You don't know why it costs twelve. Mm, you just, nah, I just not here. Nah. Is, is it RAM? Is it space? Is alien, it is, uh, alien? Well, you talking about the brand? No, I'm saying inside the computer. What hardware is making it cost so I, much? I don't know, but the nigga, the nigga that, that I had come build it, nigga named Mike. Shout out Mike. You know, whatever nigga ain't show me. Right. Up. But goddamn, he was he was explaining this shit to me like, oh, oh shit, this is what do by itself? Like he, he was like on the geek panel. Right. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, so he 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 explained to me why it costs so much. I just don't know that shit about heart though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that shit crazy though. I, man, I gotta buy two of them motherfuckers. That's yeah. man, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but it gotta be done. Mm -hmm. I you gotta, gotta be buy two of them. Yeah, it gotta be done. It you can't, gotta can't be get done. one either. You get one. Either. Nah, nah, they ain't never live like that. My <laughs> little boy, they ain't going. <laughs> they ain't going for bro. Every they got two TVs, two this. Yeah, they don't even like hang together no more. Nah, they finna stop. <laughs> <laughs> even if they hang together, they doing it to argue. They okay. arguing and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they funny, man. But I tell them now, nah, we can't do no arguing, man. I'm not really Y'all together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I be telling me I gotta take over the business. Nigga, I'm making millions. How I be telling them. Yeah, yeah, I be telling them. Yeah, think I'm making millions. How y'all gonna take care over the bit? They really be, they listen, they take that serious. I done saw them like, 
be like, man, we got to take over the business, man. We can't be. Yeah, we can't. Saying, they, 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 you said they, they mad for it. Yeah, they listening, bro. Because, you know, I want to lead them little niggas something. That be the fight. You know what I mean? How much um that 12000 come out of your budget? You yeah, it, 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 yeah, it was a budget thing. See, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better figure out why that motherfucker cost twelve thousand. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, talking about for that, that motherfucker might be twenty five hundred. We don't put ten like, grand on that. Like <laughs> hey, bro, you better figure out why that shit cost twelve thousand. Respectfully, cause nah, real talk though. This is how they whoop y'all, young niggas, with this, with the pencil whooping y'all, man, with the with the with hey, the see books. Let me see if I got a picture of that bit. They be nah, pencil nah, whooping y'all with the books now. Keep them expenses on you niggas' ass. Mm -hmm. and look up, man. You mm -hmm. owe money. How, how, why ain't being paid? You owe money still. You, you gotta, running that? You got to um, recoup for yeah. um, LS1. Right. You got that. You still running because you keep going here and there and getting this and that. So that's how they doing a nigga. Oh, God, no. You got a picture. I'm trying. I'm trying to find that bitch. I'm going to put that bitch on the screen. Twelve thousand. The comments might say, "Pizza, they got you." Oh, bro. mama, that's why I want to show it. Oh God, I know they gonna keep it. They gonna, hey, bro, that motherfucker ain't worth that. Okay, y'all let me know. Facts. I'm straight get on the phone. Hey, um, yeah, let's reevaluate that price. <laughs> I'm saying though, that's why you hit me asking certain questions. Is the hardware? Is it the RAM? What is making it cost twelve thousand? I don't know. I'm gonna show you the hardware. Damn, I was a kid. You got a picture. Do he know what make it cost twelve thousand? I gotta call him, nigga, man. What you say it is? Okay, what was it? How much was it? That's what I'm saying. That motherfucker custom, I could have put that on there for <laughs> you. <bro. laughs> that that motherfucker hard though. Now nah, you can send it to me. We're gonna put it on the screen. Let's put that bitch on the screen. That's crazy though. Twelve thousand, and yeah. he don't know why that motherfucker. 12, I don't know shit about games for real, for real. I really was trying to. And you ain't spend no time on that bitch. You spent twelve thousand on it. I spend damn time on it. Hold on. But you wasn't lagging or nothing. You catch a nigga in Call of Duty, his ass is, is nah, up. Ain't lie. I, everything like fast, even on two K and shit. Everything just extra fast and shit. But, but is you you ain't got no system hooked to that motherfucker. Nah, you no. playing them games. So they got every no, game that's on PlayStation on the actual. Yeah, they, yeah, they got every game. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And, and the graphics be better too. For real. On the computer. But that's in the computer though. Because you know when your screen's smaller, when your screen's smaller, it move faster anyway. You know I mean? Right. Yeah. That's why them gaming monitors be a certain size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I don't know. Do, do you. um. Damn, so do you you ain't had nobody subscribed on that? Yeah, I had I had a few people subscribed on that. I still got They still on that. Yeah, my little twist shit, man. Yeah, see. you gotta fuck with them people, man. Them folk paying you. Oh, good. That will be making me fuck with them Patreon people. Like sometimes I be wanting to go live on YouTube for the feeling, just to see the number go up. But it's like them Patreon folks paying you. I got to just go live with them if mm -hmm. it's just three thousand people. It's like yeah, that's that's why yeah. Now if I start doing that, I got to stop going live on Instagram and shit. It's like eh. right or because nah, I got people who paying for this shit. He go the trick though. You go live, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Patreon, <laughs> oh mama. Look at that Patreon. Yeah, nigga. it's over. <laughs> and it's going down. It's going down right now. This how they doing. See, I'm watching these suck ass niggas say this <laughs> okay, shit. Okay. So I'm watching them. Yeah, nah, yeah, it's going down. Yeah, come to Patreon. Boom. Now, it, even if 10% of them people come, you just, that number, you just keep you fluffing keep that riding, number, yeah, yeah. Riding, yeah. Next thing you know, you've been doing that for a year. Then you, this for you anyway, for artists. And Patreon, send me a check too, cause these niggas don't even know about y'all and I'm putting uh, niggas yeah. pants on Man. about this shit. I'm good, though. So send me a bag, but niggas like y'all can have it where the people that's paying y'all get in the show free. Because oh, they shit. paying you fifty dollars a month or something already, so yo, my, yo, ticket on me when I come to your town. Well, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? You paying me fifty dollars a month, and also if you get a certain tier level, you know, it come with a meet and greet. Some man, motherfuckers will send you two hundred a month, just depending on who you is. Yeah. Like it can might not be, but fifty of them in the world. But it's your job to find them fifty. 50. <laughs> okay. 
and Patreon make it where it's tears. So I get to catch all y'all. I get to catch the ones that want to pay me $200, the $5 motherfuckers, the $8. So now your team got to figure out what to give each, mm -hmm. you know, each tier. But I'm just saying, it's just game on that, man. But sometimes they got to fuck with them people that's paying and shit, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? How you been enjoying the music game, the music business? Enjoying. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even lie and say I'm really just enjoy, enjoying the music business. I say I'm enjoying being an artist. Right. Like shows, fans and shit. You know what I'm saying? The feedback I be getting on music, but the music business, shit's stressful, man. It's hard to like navigate when you ain't. I wasn't, I wasn't raised in the, in the, I wasn't raised in like a business house home, like you feel me? So all that was like real new to a nigga, like you feel me? So it's like, that shit take the fun out of the kind of, you feel me? When you like, man, I gotta watch my money, nigga. I gotta watch this shit. Like, I can't like just get in the studio and just have fun no more, you feel me? But you gotta, gotta find it, though. How do you find that fun again? Cause it's hard when you have been overexposed. It's yeah. like, I try to wait to everybody away from me, get in the studio by myself. Cause when everybody in that bitch, I, I don't know. I don't be liking that. When you look at your bank account, do you think you should have more based yeah, on? Yeah, like, I ain't never gonna be comfortable. Shit, I don't but know I'm talking about not even. Oh, based on like based on the work you've already done. Hell, meaning, yo, I'm yeah. saying, meaning, if a million was made, if if my career I generated twenty million, mm -hmm. my share of that might have been a me. Oh no, I ain't gonna lie. I I own seventy percent of my shit. So I'm saying, do you look at your account right now and say? Good job for the work done. Hell no, nah, fuck no, nah. hell no. Nah. I don't feel like I, had, I don't feel like I had the opportunity to have like a real machine behind me to push me to that level. You feel me? I feel like everything that's been happening for me really been organic. You feel me? Like, like my biggest song, I posted that shit from my phone on YouTube, and like yeah. I had to like, bro, this it, this it, this it, this it. Like, yeah. to, like get motherfuckers to see it. Like. See, that's what I'm saying. Why, why you think that though? Why is that the case? Cause I'm, cause I'm, I feel like, I feel like honestly, it's cause I ain't got a. This just how I feel. I feel like, cause I ain't got an artist deal. I got a distribution deal. So it's a lot of shit that they be holding. They nothing like, hey, nah, we ain't gonna do that. We don't have real interest in you, you know at, like these other guys. We eat you know off everything. Yeah. So it's just like when you come in the house, you gonna feed the step kids after the real kids. Yeah, that's fucked up though. That's how I go. in the same house, man. But it don't matter. <laughs> Them my bloodline right there. <laughs> that's that bloodline. They, and, and get what? They gave me their life, right? Because if a nigga do sign all that over to you, it do you do got a responsibility to that's feed real, that's, me that's, first? That's real though, cause you they they get a piece of toy. Yeah, they merch. getting all my shit. Yeah. So if they do, they better yeah. nigga. You know how I feel. They go holler pizza with that, that deal. Real shit. <laughs> and they eating off all my shit. Yeah. So it be a gift and a curse. That's why when we when we take that distribution deal, there's a level of responsibility that also yeah. we we gotta. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But that still, yeah. But still, it's like. You said you never had that machine, though. No, I ain't never had that machine. I mean, I can look at this shit. I can look at the glass half full and have empty about that. Like, damn, I ain't never had the chance to show the world for real. Or I can look at it like, shit, I'm, I'm a, not say B-list artist, B-plus, you know what I'm saying? Without having a hit song, you feel me? Or without even, you know what I mean? Having a hit song, or being like pushed like that. You know? Right. When you say push, what does that look like though? What does that mean? Shit like, okay. It just, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's just being in this industry and shit, I peeped a lot of tricks that niggas, been, that niggas be doing and a lot of like- uh, Nigga, I know what they doing. Yeah, it's a lot of tricks and shit that motherfuckers doing, bro. And yeah, motherfuckers ain't pulling them screens for me. Oh, mama, I ain't, I ain't cutting no corners for real, for yeah. real. So it's like, if I had that push right there, like the world motherfuckers just, Forcing me on that motherfucker? Oh yeah, it be over with. It be over You talking about like YouTube and all yeah, that? Yeah, like YouTube. Algorithms and shit. Yeah, that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think these labels are, well yeah, yeah, it's I definitely think I, I think I fucked myself up a lot too though. I feel like like that shit we were talking about earlier when you was like, get yeah, 90 days, yeah. I feel like I done fucked myself up so many times like this, so it's like, I done fucked up my own algorithm damn near. Right. Like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah well, and well. then it be, cause it's, it's rough on a nigga. There's a time to say fuck a nigga too, though. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. It's like, you gotta have fuck you money. 
Yeah, you gotta have that fuck you with that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to slow your chick up. Yeah, because you, 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 you can slow your chick up. Like, you think you done slowed yours up? Hell yeah. Yeah. Man, ain't no way around. Who you done offended, though? I don't know. I don't know, man. You done said fuck somebody. If they, if they, if they say, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, right, right by now, I feel like the high ups or people who I need to be around in the industry look at me like I'm a troublemaker. You feel me? Like I'm, like I just be on some bullshit. Cause anytime I'm in the media, is like some negative shit. Talking about the bitch, uh, Christian or goddamn saying fuck no cap or. The, uh, when I got in trouble, you know what I'm saying? It's always like some negative shit, you feel me? But that, the media, that's what the media gonna do anyway. Mm -hmm. So you gotta run alongside the media. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You gotta know they gonna pick up that kind of shit. That's how Charles the White done beat these niggas. Not necessarily beat these niggas, but that's how he com combat a yeah, lot of shit. He playing, he playing real dead chess with them people. Because what happens is when they come and saying, man, look what he said. He'll go two weeks just posting clips of feeding the children and newspaper clippings of when he used to go speak at this or that. Yeah, and man. so you got to run alongside them narratives. With media, all this shit is about painting narratives. They don't see any benefit painting you in a good in light. A good light. Yeah, mm -hmm. You don't do nothing for them. With podcasts, some podcasts I see them post, I'm like, yo, I'll give you an example. Because, see, that's why I say the universe is perfect, because it gives you examples if you pay attention. Mm -hmm. My Wallow episode, R.P. Cheese, um, Gilly's son. After yeah. Gilly's son was killed, Wallow came on my platform to speak. Me and Wallow spoke about that entire thing. Great conversation. The blogs didn't pick it up. Now, what I said, well, it still did three, four hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I'm, I'm already cool, but it's still saying when they didn't pick it up, I'm saying, all right. I know this to be something they pick up. So it now becomes a case study for me. And I don't say nothing. I don't call nobody out. I don't even say nothing about it because I'm studying. Mm -hmm. My And it was just answered a few, maybe a couple weeks ago when Gilly went on the pivot. He spoke about it. They posted. I said, okay, maybe that was Gilly. Mm -hmm. Maybe because that's Gilly, that's his son, they post that, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna say okay, nothing okay. about that. Yeah. Wadlow then spoke about it again, maybe two or three weeks later on Million Dollars Worth of Game, and all of those blogs picked it up again. Mm -hmm. So in my bat cave, my first thought is, damn, they ain't picking this up because it's me. It's me. <laughs> because Wallow is a he is he's a social media darling. He's yeah. like one of those. They love that boy. Yeah. So, I fuck so with Wallow, yeah, man. nah, they the OG. That's my brother. Yeah. I can call him now. Like them niggas respect my pimping. They know I'm putting major game mm -hmm. down. So, and I respect theirs. A lot of love for Wallow. Like a lot of love for dude. Yeah, for but I'm saying the market, because my job is by way of my friends to study the market, mm -hmm. but my job is also to make sure my friends don't take that personal and don't think that I'm shooting at them while I'm trying to get that information. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Really so think. even with this right here, when I say, damn, I know this to be something that's valuable to the culture, then what I told myself after this, they don't, they don't pick up what's valuable to the culture. They pick up, they got their certain favorites, so our job is to create another one. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. And use them, like even if, I've, I've seen Coca-Cola run ads right next to Pepsi. Because we may gotta use their audience, we may gotta even run ads on some of them this bigger shit brown bro. too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this shit brown and tangy too, man. Yeah, so it's like, it, it is what it is, but I don't know, man, I don't know how to feel about it, man. I, I think the blogs are, interested in that but what you contributed to the blogs viewing you in that way let's take those one by one you say what about the e40 situation oh the e40 is like i don't feel like did you ever do because e40 is a he's like a, a nigga that can make some calls yeah he can make some calls yeah. i ain't never i don't think i ever rolled before the wrong and way and shout out 40 he saw me at reps next he pulled me to the side like bro i gotta get on your shit you want them niggas popping the game. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, he gonna show love. You know, he, yeah. gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he, he like, gonna. you popping that real game. And I said, from a nigga like 40 to talk all that shit he talk, for him to be able to pick some of that shit up, it's like, yeah. that was cool. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Dope. Yeah. That shit dope. But what's your relationship with him? You ain't never said nothing about him. Shit, um, 
Man, for it, man, for it. We don't be talking like that, but we're cool and shit. The industry though is funny because the truth is still the truth. Yeah, you see what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So it's like I think it could be took away when you say I signed for twenty thousand dollars. Now that ain't no disrespect because that's yeah, the they truth. Probably, yeah, people, people probably just oh, and then how people they don't want nobody to know that the label. Please don't tell them we ain't give you nothing. Don't tell nigga we ain't give you nothing, man. Don't tell them we don't <laughs> like it, man. Nigga, we bad. Again. That shit kind of. But like, it, it's the truth. Yeah. It's so that's why I think you you be stuck in I, them I, situations. I tell, yeah, it's like I can't. It's like I feel wrong if I lie type shit. That's, I'm gonna go home and lay in the bed with this shit on my chest, bro. If I lie, fool. But when I speak the truth, I be I sleep peacefully, fool. I ain't gonna lie. And I think that's why I be fucking up. I be keeping shit too fucking real, bro. Fuck that, though, bro. I'm good, dog. I be keeping Fuck shit that, too though. Cut. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm saying not out your feelings, though. So yeah. I'm saying it's a difference between keeping it real and speaking out your feelings. Oh, my mama. That's what I'm my saying. Because a motherfucker asks a question, right? And it'll strike me right then, like. Oh, man, fuck that shit. This is how I feel about that. Woo -woo. And I just let the, the shit just. I'm good, bro. I be, I be speaking out of feelings instead of like thinking, processing the question. And then, yeah. But you still can't ignore the feelings. It, you got to grow into this because I'm, I'm older that. than you and I still ain't got it together. <laughs> you see how I keep adding layers? It's like, yeah, yeah. don't speak out your feelings, but keep it real, though. Yeah, because my feelings is me, But man. still don't ignore your feelings either because then you ain't you suppressing yourself. Oh, mama. And you know you felt bad about signing for that 20000 If I really know me and my mama done had to have a conversation about me signing to some nigga for 20000 and them folk thought when I got a record deal, I was coming through the, the, the brain, dope. the houses man. and cars. And them folks thought when they saw me next to such and such. No, they feel. That shit don't feel good. <laughs> that shit don't feel good at all. But people, I ain't gonna lie. The thing about the industry, nigga don't give a fuck. Nigga don't give a fuck. So that's what I be having on my show. I be like, shit, they don't give a fuck, so why should I give a fuck? Because it's gonna fuck up my brand if I just fuck the world. It ain't fuck the world. It gotta come with explanation. This is what I learned from the white people, right? Is a nigga like Steven Crowder will come out and he might take a shot at Candace Owens. But it ain't gonna be on no, hey, yo, Candace Owens, yo, suck my dick. Type shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna say, you know what, Candace Owens, you actually are a pathological liar. Here's <laughs> the case. August 1st, you came out and you said this, 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 this. Then August the 14th, you came back out. And what we found out about August the 14th is that on October the 3rd, you know, it's, it's, it's information. You got yeah. to come with some information and some game, not just some, yo, mm -hmm. fuck these niggas, I signed for 20K. You gotta be like, you know what, man? I signed over my rights for twenty thousand, and that was the end of it. They never put any money in the marketing when we tried to audit them. Mm -hmm. This is what came back. Here's mm -hmm. the situation with the lawyer. End up being their lawyer. My accountant mm -hmm. was their accountant. My right, and so these What's are the. He <laughs> told that nigga that kid. He told that nigga that that nigga just hit everything on the head, fool. Nah, we ain't talked about nothing. That's crazy, boy. You know something. You know something, but everything you, everything you just see, that's, <laughs> that's why folks are my mama. So, but I'm saying like, if we don't also, because it ain't disrespectful, but if we don't talk about it, the people behind us don't learn. They ain't gonna learn. Because the system is mm -hmm. set up that way. Mm -hmm. When I came in, the only reason I knew not to sell my show is because of niggas like Charlemagne talking, Joe Budden going through what he went through. Some of these guys that people look at me and think it's beef with these guys. I've learned what you, what you from these guys. Show like, um, like, like, like people have brand? tried. To, yeah, they've tried to. People have tried to actually buy my show, mm -hmm. right? Like, and like the turn me to a shit. worker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Still me on here. Still look the same, but I, it turns me it into a worker no now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I got to sustain off that one check for the rest of, and figure something else out when I can eat off of this. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's why you said like Joe Budden and shit. Right, mm -hmm, right. And mm -hmm. so you gotta pay attention to the game that's ahead of you. And if nobody's leaving none, cause it's really embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Be embarrassing to come out and say, man, I signed a deal. Them folks gave me this. I was broke in 10 days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was still running with X, Y, and Z, making it look a certain way. You know, it be rough, mm -hmm. but it's the truth. And that little nigga that's in that same room with one of them so-called big homies, he need to know that I love and respect you, but we got to look at the business. Yeah, got to. Mm -hmm. What made them come to the $20,000 number? 
I don't even know. See, I'm that's a, what I'm saying. I'm just a young nigga, right? I'm just a young nigga, fucked up, just had a baby. Uh, I feel like all that shit, just me just spilling what I had going on, nigga, like, oh, yeah. oh he need it. Feel me? That's what it was, bro. Yeah. Oh. Okay, they ain't even much explained to a nigga what it was, what it yeah, was about. Not. Yeah, they just, he go 20. We own this shit. Dub. Dub in the chain, man. I mean, shit, I learned from though. I don't regret shit. I don't, I don't nah, hear like but it's, I'm saying, what did you learn from it? This is the game. That's oh, yeah. the game part yeah. of it. I learned from, all right, you can't rush, can't rush good business. That's what I learned. That's the main thing I learned, because I rushed into everything. You feel me? Like, oh, I need this shit right now. He said, you got what? Oh, yeah, I need that. Like, you can't rush good business. You feel me? Then another thing is, like, I learned, like, this for, this for all the young niggas coming up, like, bro, don't. Don't press yourself to sign to another artist, you feel me? Cause he still got a career that he worry about, you feel me? Like, he still gotta goddamn make sure his family feed, you feel me? So it's like, sign to a CEO, a CEO who focus on running the business, you know, feeding his family too, but focus on running the business though. He ain't trying to be a rapper, he ain't gonna, yo, he gonna get you tickets to the Hip Hop Awards instead of him going, you feel me? That's what it is, yeah. So when Live Nation called and they say, yo, we got one spot, be like, should I take it? It's gonna be it's his spot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The CEO gonna say, "Yo, I got such and such for that." Yeah, he gonna shop the artist, right? Yeah, it that's wasn't even or me, Nuff the Pharaoh, shit, Chippers, Bands Talk. There's a few niggas. How many opportunities come through a label? Like, you would you say how many opportunities you got when you were signed over that in that situation? Like, I feel like did uh, you get some good looks, some splashes? Yeah, yeah, some... I wouldn't, I would have never had the young boy feature if I wasn't signed to Eve Porter, and that that gave me a big ass boost early on in my career. Yeah, uh, I feel like I feel like I would have took out them label meetings regardless, though. Right, I feel like. Do you own a young boy song or they own it? Uh, no, they own it. Yeah, they own cause they, it. they 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 put it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's doing good. See, that's the thing. Like, see, I think with y'all niggas, man, that's where it gets slippery. It's like, yo, you known in, in certain parts of you. What what actually does an artist own from their catalog? That's when it gets slippery because yeah. it's like, I'm known like a motherfucker, but for them major hits of mine, I don't even own them joints. Or I own 10% of them joints. I ain't gonna lie, if I go, if I go plan them, if I go say if I go plan them more. But that shit gonna that shit have changed the nigga. But whole, you good now. Ooh. That's cause you now you straight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you feel me? It's yeah. like Yeah, it's, it, it was so many hands in my pockets. If I would have went platinum back then, I I wouldn't I don't think I would have seen too much of that cheese, fool. You feel me? Yeah. I would have seen damn that wouldn't have seen none of that for think real. Think a hundred K? Some I'll, shit. Yeah. Like a hundred thousand off the shit. Of platinum I think album. you get I think you get what? I think a platinum album, I mean a platinum song is like what, a five million dollar five million dollars? Yeah, something like something that. I like think that. they said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably would have seen like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand of this shit. I remember Meek Mill said he made in ten years, he made twelve million dollars off of uh, one of them big songs. I think it was the intro song. That ain't no whole bunch of money for that time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like that's what I'm saying. You got to start looking at what is being done. That's why I'm asking you for that twenty. What did this even say? What did this shit even say? What did this contract even say? You know what I mean? Man, I ain't gonna need a lot. I ain't even read that shit. Yeah, you just needed to pay. Just like you said, Brad came with the lawyer. All that shit. I ain't had my own lawyer, no nothing. Didn't read that shit or nothing. I needed some shit. Yeah. Do you own any other shit from back then or your catalog? What do you own from your catalog? I feel like, uh, shit, big homie. Yeah. doing bad shit, nope. Big homie. Yeah. I like that song you dropped too. You got a certain style I like. Like, I think a lot of the Alabama artists have got this singing thing that, yeah. that I enjoy. You know, um, what what contributes to your your style on that? She just moving around, moving around, going to California at a young age and shit. I feel like that shit helped like widen my um, widen my like um my beat choices and shit. Like, I don't just pick a certain tip. Like, if you peep, I be rapping on all type of different beats. I might go Detroit, nigga might go New York, like, melodic drill, nigga might go West Coast. I feel like just moving around and shit. 
That yeah. shit really helped mold me as an artist for real, for real. So you left, when you leave Alabama? When I was like 12. See, is that rough as a rapper where they they try to act like you left Alabama, yeah, nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that shit really See, I know they shit. That shit come fuck on. with a nigga. That shit fuck with a nigga. I just not started not giving a fuck about this shit. When yeah. nigga be like, oh, nigga that say let's speak you a Kelly nigga. Yeah. Okay. All right. I done fucked a whole lot of Kelly hoes too. <laughs> we'll like, oh, they, you see, they, they play this territorial territory thing, man, mm -hmm. in the rap game where it's like, you know, yeah, you you left, you left. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a weird thing, man. How can you tell a nigga he left? How could you get mad when a nigga left when I put this bitch on my back and left? Yeah. Who like, was out when you look, when you was that what I'm saying? It was it was me, it was me and uh me and Young Blue. Damn, my only Blue. Young Blue, I forgot he was yeah, from, he from Mobile. Damn. It was me, Young Blue, then uh then Honeycomb, boom. Honeycomb bust through that bitch. Then Rollo and Cap. That yeah, boy Rollo. Or Cap, then Rollo, one on. But I think, nah, matter of fact, I think they came in together for real. I ain't gonna lie, both them niggas hard. Them bro. niggas raw, bro. I ain't gonna them lie, niggas hard. hard. Like the word play? Yeah. Me Everybody and Rollo, we were word. just at, we, we were back. See, Rollo Swift, too, what niggas don't know. We were yeah, just back. nigga smart as a motherfucker. Nigga, he ain't stupid. Listen, we <laughs> yeah, back at with the, um, with the Magic dude, that baby tour backstage. Magic dude doing some hell of a shit. Mm -hmm. Me and Rollo sitting there, Rollo trying to figure it out. The Rollo nigga figured this nigga out. Like we say, what he did was he did some trick where he say, yo, I bet I can guess your, your phone code, right? And so he would pull up your calculator, do, 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 do. he'll do a bunch of shit and then get the phone code. Man, when I tell that nigga figure that out, I'm sitting there, I'm saying, man, these nigga don't know this little nigga Swift, man. Yeah, I don't know you he swift. ain't no nigga, like he be, yo, man. He ain't stupid, yeah, bro. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, Cap ain't stupid either, though. Yeah, so man, I ain't, I ain't I'm gonna keep it Mobile, bro, oh, we, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, don't know. I, I be blaming it on uh, the, the slave ships and shit. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. came through the Gulf, bro. Sure. All us really got like old souls, bro. Right. We like down the old men, bro. Yeah. Like anybody run from running to like from Mobile, bro. Niggas like old men. Huh, Ken? Oh, good. What like, about what 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 happened with you and Cap? Y'all straight now? Or what? Yeah, what? that shit cool. Was, yeah. Like I said, I moved to California, but me, I got a, I got a big ass heart, man. We got a big ass heart. There was a lot of shit going on. And I just dove in and shit like, nigga, I don't know. Yeah. Just from, just cause of the side I'm from. You know what I mean? But, yeah, just cause of the side I'm from. I'm from. And then my little homeboy had died, bro. And bro had said some shit about him in the song, bro. That shit hurt my feelings. Nah, I man. Yeah. That way it happened for real, for real. And yeah, you know, fresh off anchor, I did that interview fresh off anchor. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, yeah, about it. Yeah. Trip. Should have gave it 90 days. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I tell you, give that shit 90 days. Hey, y'all talk this shit, though. Uh, no, we ain't talk. We talked yeah. to like uh, third parties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send yeah. a little message and shit. Shout out old Pooty. Yeah. You turn talking about Trench, Trench Runner. Yeah, Trench Runner Pooty. That's my guy. He be <laughs> on my shit. He <laughs> like my, he love my shit. I fuck with that young nigga. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, that's my dog. we from the same side. For that's real. You, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Like now, nah, but but um, also man, to see when on Baby Tour, man, to see the crowd go crazy for Rollo like that, like that's they were dope. going word for word. That's it. And he dope. don't give them, and, and and he gotta depend on his music. See. Some people's performing style, they give you so much as a performer, even if the music is subpar. You be like, okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, I got something from that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He you know, coming yeah. out depending on the music. Mm. He just, he ain't really doing too much. He, he just giving them what. I, I ain't never really caught him, caught him perform or like lately. Like we was, we was down there young when I said that nigga. He working the stage and shit, but I'm saying he ain't doing all the jumping and the, how the young oh, yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, all yeah. The, the young nigga be jumping and Crowd oh yeah. my God. <laughs> they be doing some shit. You don't be doing all that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I be tripping. I, I be tripping. You be out there. I be tripping. Yeah, 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 they love that shit. Do they, how they be Yeah, they be, they be fucking with that shit, right? I just, I, I love seeing people uh, reactions and shit. And then when you on stage and lights in your face, shit, you can't really see. I be wanting to see, bro. I want to see damn near almost every face in this business. <laughs> I don't give that. Out. So I be jumping out that motherfucker sometimes. 
I be having to stop doing that shit. Like, I go with my gut. If my gut say, like, if I get one thought, like, right. I ain't going. Right. But if I say, nigga, if, in my mind, if I say I'm jumping, I don't get no feeling right here, right. say, don't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm out in there. there. Yeah. I'm in there. You ain't never had no trouble out there. Yeah, 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 I had some trouble. My chain broke in the crowd. Niggas say he snatched my shit. Chain broke in the crowd. Nigga, I done jumped off the stage and fell on my head. Oh, ain't nobody my catch me. <laughs> Man, I ain't have some trouble now. You gonna have some hiccups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna have if you, if you out there, you gonna have some hiccups for sure. Yeah. Like, bro, that shit just come with it, man. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, I man. think I was seeing you did you got what you got shot at a club too, man. Yeah, on my mama. What had, happened on that? Man, I was supposed to uh What was I, this in your city yeah, or yeah, there was a mobile. Then when I had first start really just going back, you feel me? And just really being out there. So goddamn. I did a show, I did a video with Boosie, we had a show that night at uh, Soul Kitchen. So we go to Soul Kitchen and shit, we do the show. Then we leave and shit, Boosie got booked for an after party. I'm like, shit, I ain't get booked. Man, but my homeboy and them like, shit, man, Boosie in the city, man. You know, we love Boosie. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga like, bro, we gotta go to, uh, we gotta go, man, what do we? I'm like, man, all right, come on with it. But I'm telling you, my gut was telling me, like, hell no, nah, I ain't going to the club, I ain't get paid, you feel me? I'm like, yeah, nah. So boom, they convince the nigga to go, we go. We in that motherfucker. Uh, turn, dancing and shit. Fight break out. Security grab me, throw me out there, bitch. And grab one of the niggas we were fighting, throw him out there, bitch. <laughs> Soon we get outside, the nigga take out running. I'm like, I already know what he doing. Man, he going to he going to wait. I will call it, you feel me? So I'm like, oh shit, I gotta wait on bro with the key. You feel me? Nigga got the key. Boom, he come out. At first, I'm like, no, me wait on everybody. I'm like, hell nah, me and bro can make it to the car. Boom, we we jogging down the street, trying to make it to the car, get in the parking lot. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, bro. Damn. I'm like, shit. Nigga end up, but we were parked like three cars away from each other. Like, then you two, went like, to the hospital, you drove to the hospital. Oh, I, I had hit a gate, boom, I hit a gate, boom. So you running yeah. shot. Yeah, I hit a gate, then I had, uh, that's how I knew I was shot. At first, boom, so I'm running. And it felt like a nigga trip me. You know how a nigga do that. Remember this? That uh, that first shit on Friday. It felt like a nigga trip me. Boom, <laughs> yeah. my foul. Get back up. I don't feel it. Then, goddamn, I jumped the gate. And then when I land, my whole motherfucking leg, goddamn, felt like my funny bone head got hit. I'm like, ooh. So I get the bell crowd in the middle of the street. When I get in the middle of the street, I see everybody coming down the street. I see Ken and them and shit. So I just lay down on my back. I'm thinking I'm hit up all in my back, though. I'm just, cause I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, this fucked up. Especially when I fell and shit, I'm yeah. like, I know I'm hit. I don't know where the fuck I'm hit at, though. Then when I landed on the other side of the gate, I'm like, okay, something wrong over there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. My bell crowd to the middle of the street, and I just spread out in the middle of the street. I ended up getting hit on my foot and in my hand. Damn. Mm -hmm. At that time, how much time you were spending down there? I was, I ain't gonna lie. I started being down there more frequently after that. That shit don't make no fucking sense for real. But I started like, I, man, I, I had a lot of like pride issues. I had yeah, but you pride. that's you gonna be prideful about some shit like that. Yeah, it was like, man. Because you now you now here it is, you connecting traumas, right? Because you say, they did this cause I left. Cause these niggas I already yeah, be acting like I left. It. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So now you starting to think, oh, they think it's they Sweet. they think it's that. <laughs> And so now I want to defend my honor, which is a bad time to defend your honor in the process of chasing progress. Mm -hmm. But as men, bro, like it's it's rough, dog. I know it's rough. It's hard, like, bro. It's hard in the motherfucker, bro. Mm -hmm. It's hard in the motherfucker to say, because I, I tell niggas right now, somebody down this side, I'm jumping out the booth. Mm -hmm. Right now, today, <laughs> we shut all operations down. They take some on this side. Mm -hmm. Everything stopped because that's all. I don't know how to keep going. Mama. I got to talk to a preacher or somebody. They, everybody come to me for that, and I got it for them. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who can give it to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's you see what I'm saying? Like that's that's how I'm living, man. Or feeling like and I'm and I'm trying to grow from it. That's why I can that's why when I talk to you about it, I can I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, real shit. Real you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When a nigga fall back in there like, oh nah. Mm -hmm. I'm back in the pool. These nigga think I don't know how to swim. You know what I'm saying? I hate that for me. I hate that for the situation I'm in. They think I ain't gonna be able to come here and, and, and chill. They mm -hmm. gonna try me. Is they gonna do this every time? Do you think Alabama love you? Do you think the streets out there got love for you or hate for you? I think, 
I got a, I got a lot of love and a lot of hate, man. I got a lot of love and a lot of people who don't understand me. But the people who understand me, like they, they fuck them. They gotta fuck with people. Like if a motherfucker fuck with me, they fuck with me like. But yeah, you can't say shit, you feel me, around. Like, then you ain't gotta be for my prizes and then like you can be from the other side. If you fuck with me, you gonna tell your homeboy, like, bro, I fuck with peace. Like, you know but I, mean? I want y'all young niggas to know this too, though. Like, you in my city. Like, I'm I done this is my trap. Mm -hmm. And it ain't no smut on nothing about me. Mm -hmm. Can never be nobody say nothing about me. And I only say that to qualify this next statement, which is you don't need nobody. You see how y'all coming here and it's me and a, and a nigga I just hired for the day? Mm -hmm. You can operate in this industry, in this world, leaving that tribe. And I think that black men, we have it hard to where we don't know how to leave our tribe. You know what I'm saying? We want to stay connected to the people that we grew up with. We know. You yeah, know that, shit what I'm hurt, that shit hurt leaving people like Yeah, people. man. You know what I'm saying? But you say you got a lot of love and hate. What you think they don't understand about you? I just think niggas don't know me. Like it's like okay, you only know you only know me if you stay on my side before I left. You feel me? I don't know shit. When I go back to the city, I don't know nothing but orange grow at the bottom in the camp. Like if I get if I leave out this area, I'm lost. Right. You feel me? Right. I don't know. I can't tell you shit about Princeton. I can't tell you shit about. I can tell you shit about Roger Williams, but I can't tell you shit about Birdsville. I can't tell you shit about the South Side. You feel me? So it's like. Niggas don't know me, like, oh shit, I ain't go to school with bro. You feel me? So a nigga like, know what I mean? But everybody from my side be like, shit, bro was bad for Do you think you need that though? Nah, I don't need it. But it feel like you think you need it feel like a part of you think I I need them to I need them to believe this. Man. Or I need them to want I it's, need it's, them to This on some shit like this on some shit like, all right. I was in California from twelve to eighteen, twelve to eighteen. I'm talking about Mobile, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, on Grove Prize, on Grove Prize. So when I come home and I don't get the love that I've been showing my city, that's what that's what it that's is. That's what it hurt. Um, it hurt them. Yeah, um, it's like that type. I've of been shit. waving this flag. I'm talking don't about love. It's like it's like Snoop. The fuck? Y'all don't that? love Death Row. <laughs> oh, Y'all ain't got no love for the West Coast oh, up in nigga. All we mama. done for hip hop and yeah, shit. Yeah, my mom, but that's really how it feels, bro. Like, but y'all must don't know like. Nigga, Ken, what's the first thing I see when we, when we start going back to Mobile? Oh yeah, I'm finna shine a light on this bitch. Everybody coming out. My mom, I'm like, everybody finna come out this bitch. Next two years on my mama, everybody start coming out that bitch. And I'm like, damn, y'all nigga don't love me? I did that. Man, my mama, dog, I'm, I'm shot with these niggas. The labels in, but at my label meetings. Well, hey, I ain't the only one though. But these niggas hard. Mm. Oh mama. It's like, bro, and then I don't never, I don't never say that shit publicly. If I don't never like speak on that shit. But I be like, well, y'all niggas got me fucked up. Not the rappers. I ain't talking about the rappers. I'm talking about like the city. Like, well, y'all niggas tripping. This light on this bitch down there because of me, fool. No mama. No bullshit. Now it's like, damn, bro. That's deep. Yeah. It's like, bro, you waving the flag. You go all the way to the top of the hill waving that motherfucking flag. And he looked down, and niggas like coming through the, the trail, <laughs> oh, the <God>. same trail. <laughs> coming through the same trail. But niggas trail. don't know how trails work, though. <laughs> That's why you be hearing me like, nah, I'm I'm trying to keep them understanding that they can come this way, yeah, yeah. come through this trail. Mm -hmm. What 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 do you think they should have done, though? I mean, what could they do to 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 make you feel different about that? I don't even know, bro. I really ain't even nothing. Cause the people who the people who the people who show me love, that should be that should be feeling so good. I don't even really be just tripping like that no more. For real. I really grew out that shit. That really was like 23, 24. Like, man, these niggas got me fucked up and shit. That shit really used to be gay. I ain't gonna lie. It it's still kinda like pull at them screens now, but back in the day, boy, that shit really used to boy, what the fuck got me? Especially when I got shot. I'm like, oh hell no, nah, ain't nigga done shot me. Oh yeah, you got me fucked up. <laughs> I better flesh this bitch. Yeah. But it, it's like, yeah, I don't really be caring, I know. Like, is it you love me or hate me? And if you hate me, stay over there, man. Like, I know what I did. Yeah. I know what I did. And I know what I do. It's rough on rappers, though, specifically, man. When when you feel like I look back and it's like, 
Because them be that's where the hate usually come from, your hometown. Mm -hmm. It usually mm -hmm. come from your neighborhood or somewhere around there where niggas saying he ain't really like that. Like mm -hmm. me and Bank was talking, a hustler gonna call a robber a fuck nigga. A robber gonna call a hustler a fuck nigga. Because a robber gonna say, nigga, he let me take his shit. And yeah. the hustler gonna be like, he broke ass. Nigga, nigga gotta shit. take something. Mm -hmm. Broke ass, nigga ain't mm -hmm. got no hustle. Oh, mama, oh, mama. <laughs> so it be like, yo, you gotta know who you talking to even when you asking what kind of flavor a nigga is. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. could be talking to a robber and he might be saying, man, that nigga ain't like that. He ain't like that because he ain't no robber. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah, he ain't never took none, but he was mm -hmm. a little hustling ass nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it get lost and ain't nobody talk nobody nothing about this shit. We just tell each other, you better not let nobody hold you and you better know how to get some money. Mm -hmm. That's about where it stop at and know how to fucking get some bitches. Mm -hmm. It stopped there. Nigga don't tell a nigga how to be no man or nothing else. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So that shit be fucked up. I don't know how you deal with that, man. That's rough. I just stay on my side. All the dope, all, all the smokers, all the, all everybody love me on my side. How much time you spend that now? I don't spend no time now. Nah, yeah, since my grandma died, I don't even be, it don't even be no reason to go down there for real. I seen Honeycomb, he done hit me a few times in the DM. My dog, that's my dog, I love that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I love that nigga. Well, well, <laughs> I think he, he, I think he died. Yeah, he, he just got up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I well, love that nigga. That nigga down there saved my life. I mean, that bitch with a weak ass, dirt ass revolver. Oh, my mama, dog. <laughs> I just get out the car. I'm with a bitch on the west side. I get out of the car. Have the niggas in front of the stairs and shit. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I'm already out of the car, though. Ain't no getting back in the car. Whoa. Boom. Walk up the stairs, doop, 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 doop. I felt the vibe, though. I felt the whole vibe. I done locked eyes with everybody coming up the stairs, you feel me? Mm. Couple niggas mugging, couple niggas, you know what I'm saying? So I'm you like, seeing a bitch over? I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I already know what's going on. So boom, I get in the house. Get in the house, lock the door, and goddamn sit on the couch facing the door. You feel me? So now we in that bitch chilling. I get my dick eight. Knock at the door. Doom, doom, doom. Wow. She get up like she finna go open the door. I don't touch the fucking door. You tripping. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Then I hear, I hear through the door. Doom, 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 doom. But it's brazy, bitch. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, open the door. I'm still on edge though. Like, shit. Boom, he coming at that bitch. I'm, oh, oh, dick, bitch, ain't shit finna happen to you. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know what the fuck nigga got going on. Nigga, came down. That motherfucker told me you was up here, nigga. You scraped. Woo, woo. I'm like, oh, yeah, I ain't bet. For sure. Like, he been right. through some shit down there. I watched his story develop. Yeah, I said, bro, got a real life. That nigga, that shit story. going. That nigga, that shit. Like, he got one of them ones, like one of them ones we see. I feel like bro need to sit down and talk with a nigga yeah. like you. Yeah, nah, he, we gonna get it done. We done talked before on the DM. Mm -hmm. I think whenever he, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. Cause it's definitely something yeah. we gotta get to. Yeah. Cause it, you know, when you sit on these platforms, these niggas is, you and Honeycomb got music together? Yeah, we got old head music though. We gotta yeah. do some new shit. Yeah. That's that shit old as fuck. And when they said his, um, when when his grandmother and them and R.P. to them, when they R. house and shit caught on fire, how did you feel about that? I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that, I ain't gonna really know his, his grandma and his granddad, but that shit hurt me because I fuck with him type shit, like, like, Brandon, I ain't gonna lie, that ain't deserve no shit like that. That was some next that level that shit. ain't deserve no shit like that, bro. Is that how it's rocking down there, though? Is that how they, they cut down there? They on some other shit down there? Yeah, that mobile for you, though. That mobile for you. You got family still down there? All my family down there. All my aunties and shit. Ain't nobody moved to California but my mama and her kid. When you got out there, who you link with in Cali? Oh, um, like a lot of Bay Area. I was staying in Sacramento, but I was hanging with a lot of Bay Area niggas. Like nigga it's Richmond. the Bay where they, they, I think that's where they do all the pimping and shit, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. That's high level game then. Yeah, Them yeah, niggas yeah, be yeah. popping it out there. Man, what you you ain't pick nothing up from out there? You got to know I pick some shit up. Man, but I don't, be, I don't be trying to put that no, I don't be trying to put that out there. You don't be using it on the, you gotta be using that game, man. Yeah, trying to. Fuck you, man. They gotta <laughs> use that guy. Shit. When you um in this industry too, I saw before where you had a a, a situation with a girl, and she Which came one? out. Oh, the bitch. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to you about that because I want to one talk about how 
or ask you, do you think that stuff like that, dating a rapper's baby mama affects the relationship in the industry?